Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing great. I am good as well. I wanted to give a deep cleaning to my kitchen which had gone, I won't say a mess completely, it was disorganized. And it was because my family, my kids and my husband were managing the cleaning and all. I have no complaints at all because it was them who took care of the rest when I was unwell. I am ever thankful to my lovely boys who did the dishes, laundry and a bit of cleaning up their rooms. I hated the smell of the kitchen so I was completely away from it as much as I could. The only task I used to do was to just clean my plate. Now that I am almost ready with my health, I thought to give a rearrangement to place back all the utensils in their original place and even other stuff. Now when we are in the kitchen all the time, we know what's missing and what's available in the pantry. I had forgotten what all had to be bought and what was in the pantry to refill any empty spice bottles. I had been thinking of giving an organization even before because I used to buy what I already had in my pantry. So it's a waste of money. I have a basket where I place all the extra pulses and spices. I clip them and place them in that. So the next time anything needs to be refilled. I'll check in that basket and only then I'll shop if I need. But as I said, I had completely forgotten what was in there. Moreover, I had a few empty bottles in which I could empty the packets. I took everything out that was in the basket. Before placing anything on this shelf, I took out everything what was in there and gave a good wipe because I could see dust and dirt accumulated. A quick wipe given regularly will help you ease these tasks or else it will be hard or will need more effort to clean them. At times I have bananas at home that are overly ripe and I hate to throw them. This can be used in dishes to make you lucky enough to skip sugar because overly ripe bananas become a sugar substitute and also taste good when added to cakes or muffins. Here I am preparing banana balls that I have a recipe I published just a few months after I started this channel. It must be in 2017 I guess. This is my family's favorite snack and tastes really good. But for this recipe, I am adding a bit of sugar because my husband loves the snack when it's extra sweet. I mash the bananas along with sugar and a pinch of salt to balance. Then goes in all purpose flour and baking powder. Now here you can use wheat flour if you want but taste will be a bit altered. Anyways, it will taste good. Add some water to make it a bit loose texture or else the inner side will not get cooked easily when deep fried.
Something I learned this time when I was unwell was that my boys were applying what was taught to them at home. I built a habit in them to clean their plates after eating, do laundry sometimes and clean up their messy study table. Rihan is big enough to understand that these tasks are given or asked by them for their own good. He once told me, you are making us do all this so that it's easy for us in our future, right? <laughs> so I was happy. He knew why mom is being too disciplined on this. Anyways, it came in need at an early stage because they couldn't depend on me for almost four months. Now your husband might not be able to help you like how you do it for them. They might not have been taught to do house chores because in those days it was all done by women. And I guess even now it's still continuing. But I think there's nothing wrong in taking up equal responsibility because they are no more a son, they are the partner in the house. My husband has always been a support in this manner and I don't think his mother has taught him anything about house chores. It all depends on how you both deal with each other. All I want to say is when you are not well, take a break and do not force yourself to do what you aren't able to do but only you can do. Let your family learn to help themselves. The only thing to keep in mind is to be polite and calm. Do not get frustrated when things aren't going in the right way. It will be okay soon. Now this drawer was a mess and I had another basket with spatulas and some extras. So gave a quick organizing here. Had bought some basket organizers to give a neat look. I have two of the same spatulas and it was bought by mistake. I didn't know I had a similar one because it was in the basket that was looked into once in a while. So that's why I needed this to be in a place where my eyes would reach out. These tea towels were kept in place but it was not neatly done. Sometimes changing the places of items on your countertop gives a fresh look. I kept this inside a cabinet as it was not of much use on the countertop. I placed this to the corner to give some appliances. Mm -hmm. 
Now the kitchen wasn't given a deep clean on a single day. I couldn't stand for a long time, so I had to take breaks. I cleaned up part by part on different days, but made sure it was on consecutive days and not left throughout the week or month. I really missed cooking but I couldn't. If I forced myself, I wouldn't be able to even eat. So, I kept myself away from the kitchen for some time. Kids used to come and ask if I was okay to prepare something for them. It was really emotional to see them come to me and request that way. But I knew I could cook something for them, something delicious when I'm all okay. So, I asked them to wait for some more time. Their all-time favorite evening snack is brownies. I don't prepare it from scratch or with any ingredients from the pantry. I buy a ready-to-make pack and it tastes good. The countertop is all clean and fresh. Yeah. Listen there. It looks so good and it smells so good. You are a great mother cooker. The sweet compliments you get from your children are just enough to melt your heart.
Now this space is considered to be my mini pantry but it includes many more. I took out all the stuff from there and gave a wipe all over. Baskets help to keep anything neat. I place their different boxes in this rectangular one. I love baking and I've kept all the baking pans and trays under here. This makes it hard to take the one I will need at that moment. And also it's a mess in there. So I thought to keep all the baking stuff in the grey cabinet. This way, it was way easier. This sink organizer is a lifesaver. Though there is dust forming here and there, this has been roughly used. I used to clean it up now and then, but had to give it a good clean after so long. Having greenery in the kitchen makes it even more refreshing to the eyes. So I place this pot with tall plants in it. I don't know what's the name of this plant. I anyway don't have any curtains here so this will be in place of that.
how satisfying it is to see a clean kitchen especially the sink area i hope you like this video and i'll see you in my next one until then take care everyone bye bye